cities of Champaign and Urbana lie at the intersection of Interstate 74, 57, and 72 in East Central Illinois. Amtrak provides passenger service north to Chicago and south to Carbondale, Memphis, and New Orleans several times a day. In fact, one of the daily trains is the city of New Orleans, featured in the Steve Goodman song. Several bus lines serve the Twin Cities. The University of Illinois Willard Airport handles commercial flights into the community, as well as private, university, and corporate aircraft. In Champaign-Urbana, the Mass Transit District is one of the finest in the country, with a fleet of modern buses designed to accommodate handicapped passengers. Rail freight is handled by the Canadian National, Norfolk and Western, and Conrail. Its location and transportation system make the community an ideal center for shipping and distribution. Residents are justly proud of their parks. From boating and swimming to nature study to environmental preservation and art. to local festivals and events. The many parks and facilities cater to a wide range of interests. The YMCA provides many activities and opportunities. In addition, there are four golf and country clubs and a number of public golf courses in the area. A few miles east of Urbana lies Homer Lake, a county forest preserve and animal refuge. Abraham Lincoln passed the north border of the preserve as he rode the 8th Judicial Circuit. West of Champaign, there is Lake of the Woods with a real covered bridge a golf course, botanical garden, museum, rental pavilions, and boating on the large lake. Other recreational areas nearby include Allerton Park, Clinton Lake, Moraine View, and Kickapoo State Park. Chicago, Indianapolis, and St. Louis are all within easy driving distance. Between Champaign and Urbana lies the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. With over 42,000 undergraduate, graduate, and professional students, and almost 3,000 faculty, the university plays an important role in the economic and cultural life of the Twin Cities. Noyes Lab is the home of the School of Sciences and 11 Nobel Prize winners, including six faculty members and five alumni. The College of Engineering is ranked in the top five engineering schools in the nation. Among its highly ranked programs are those in agricultural, electrical, and computer engineering, computer science, physics, material science, and civil and environmental engineering. More than any other single factor, it's the library that brings scholars to the university and keeps them here. It's the largest public university library in the country. The Granger Engineering Library is the largest engineering library in the country. The university library's outstanding collections are known throughout the world for their depth and breadth of information. The auditorium hosts many artistic events, but the Cranert Center for the Performing Arts is one of America's leading university-based performing arts centers 
presenting moving examples of artistic creativity in its four theaters and five stages. The Assembly Hall hosts basketball, concerts, ice shows, and circuses. Many of the university's students live in dormitories or in private certified housing, while others choose from among over 50 fraternities and 24 sororities. The campus Greek system, one of the largest in the country, has a long and proud tradition. The Student Union provides many essential services, while the Activities and Recreation Center has a variety of recreational facilities. Well over 50% of the entering freshmen rank in the top 10% of their high school classes. 17 graduates are Pulitzer Prize winners and 11 have won Nobel Prizes. Faculty and alumni from the University of Illinois have truly transformed our world. John Bardeen earned one of his two Nobel Prizes for inventing the transistor. Alumnus Jack Kilby won his Nobel for inventing the integrated circuit. Others developed the LED, home air conditioning, magnetic resonance imaging, and the first graphical web browser. Champaign-Urbana seeks new business aggressively. The resources and people associated with the University of Illinois, combined with the community's location and transportation system, make this an ideal location for manufacturing and distribution centers, as well as a host of high-tech businesses. At the same time, there's a tradition of protection and restoration of historic buildings. Champaign-Urbana is a major food distribution hub. Kraft is the largest food processing plant in the nation. This is one of nearly 50 hotels, motels, and bed and breakfasts in Champaign-Urbana. There are also many fine restaurants in the community. One of the most important resources in central Illinois is the rich farmland surrounding the Twin Cities. Corn and soybeans for livestock, food processing and export are important not only to this community, but to the world. With over 500,000 acres in production, the impact of farming on the economy is enormous. Actual production tops $375 million each year. The calculated economic impact of farming is five times that amount, or about $1.8 billion per year. The economic health and strength of Champaign-Urbana is demonstrated by the large number of retail stores in the regional and local shopping centers. Marketplace alone has 100 stores. The five major shopping centers draw customers from well beyond the 50-mile radius, which defines the Champaign-Urbana trading area. Historically, Champaign-Urbana has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the state of Illinois. Retail sales approach two and a half billion dollars per year. Both Champaign and Urbana have weekly farmers markets during the summer and fall months. This is Urbana's Market at the Square, a popular Saturday event. Urbana is the county seat for Champaign County. The cities of Champaign and Urbana, although separate, work closely together in matters of police and fire protection. Both cities have excellent libraries, and membership at one entitles the patron to full access to the other. The Twin Cities have exceptional medical resources. Carl Hospital is one of the top 100 hospitals in the country. Christie Clinic is one of the largest physician-owned practices in Illinois. Provena Covenant Hospital has also received national recognition in several areas. There are over a hundred churches and synagogues in the Twin Cities. Champaign and Urbana are proud of their tree-shaded neighborhoods. Whether in West Urbana, near the university campus, or in the southeast, lawns are rich in shrubs and well-shaded by trees. 
There are over 50,000 housing units in Champaign-Urbana, including apartments and private homes, for a total population of over 120,000 people. Champaign neighborhoods, like Urbana's, are tree-shaded and inviting. There are a number of private and parochial schools in the Twin Cities. Champaign has two public high schools, three middle schools, and 12 elementary schools. The total student population is over 9,000. Urbana has one high school, one middle school, and six elementary schools, with a total population of over 3,700 students. University High School is a teaching laboratory for the University of Illinois. Parkland College offers two-year associate degrees in a number of fields. Parkland also offers a wide range of courses to the general public, from photography to auto repair. This monument to Olympic athletes from Champaign-Urbana stands at the eastern entrance to the Parkland campus. The University of Illinois Ice Arena is one of the largest indoor skating facilities in the world. Champaign-Urbana has a number of local bands and several orchestras. There are several community theater groups, in addition to the university-sponsored symphony and dance, opera, and theater companies. On the 4th of July, the mayors of Urbana and Champaign can be seen walking or riding through the streets in open cars. Beauty queens, Shriners, Boy Scouts, and many businesses join in the parade. In the evening, it seems as though the whole community gathers to watch the fireworks. You can just about go anywhere and find just about anything that you want. If you want to have a quiet spot, you can find it. If you want to go towards the noise in the crowd, you can find it. Um, the university, uh, again, offers so much, it's hard not to uh, find exactly what you're looking for. But we seem to attract uh, a certain kind of intellectual vitality that I like. Uh, Netscape's uh, Mosaic and uh, Eudora are three of the major applications on the internet, and they were all created by people here in Champaign. <laughs> and there's so much shopping and, and the parks, there's so much to offer here in Champaign. Both Champaign and Urbana are very active in trying to sponsor events that gets the community involved. People are very supportive of locally owned and operated businesses. I like the school system, I like the park district system, and I like the, the communities in general. It's a very nice cross blend of Midwestern people.